Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-16C and we're looking at using laser guided bombs. We're starting here in the mission editor because this is one of the methods of changing the laser code on our actual weapons that we can have on our aircraft. So if we click on our aircraft here, let me click on this here, we can change the PRF here to whatever we want to be within the valid limits of what the laser code can be. And remember this is changing the actual bombs, it's not changing the laser code on your teapot. We can carry laser guided bombs on pylons three four six and seven one on each pylon so a total of four bombs and we can take the gbu 10 or the gbu 12 so laser guided mark 84 two thousand pound or 500 pound and to keep it nice and simple we'll just take two times gbu 12s today assuming that we're not going to drop them on a third party laser like a jtac or a plane with another teapot then we're going to need a teapot to do our lasing at the moment we can only have a teapot on five right now we're armed up, we can press right shift and kilo for our knee board and we can change the PRF of the bombs here as well like we did in the mission editor. So right, alt, right shift and 9 for instance will change that digit there, the hundreds digit. Note you can only do this with our engine switched off, our canopy open, fully shut down. So we'll leave it at 1688, we'll start up. Next we'll look at our controls. Push and hold weapon release to drop the bomb. Gun trigger first, detent, push and hold to laze. DMS down to select our MFD as soy. TMS up, left and down for various teapod functions. RDR cursor up, down, left and right for teapod slew. Expand FOV, more teapod function. And in the axis here, I'll be using manual ranging knob here or teapot zoom. We're in the air now. There's a target roughly in front of us somewhere, so we need to go and find it and acquire it. So stick off. Check that we've got our sensor power to our right chin for our teapot. We have master arm on, laser arm on, air to ground. Let's go and set up our weapons. So we're going to drop these almost exclusively in CCRP for a laser guided bomb. So CCRP, check the bomb and it's right and it's ready. Profile one is all we'll need. We can drop just one or in this case, I'm going to drop a pair. Spacing and pulses are not relevant in this case. We're going to have nose tail fusing and that's all fine next we're going to get our teapod set up back to main menu tgp already set up in air to ground and ready to go it's currently caged to our ball side position but i make this screen soy now so dms down or off we can now maneuver it about and we've got some targets over here we're going to zoom in see what we can see we're going to go for narrow field of view okay i like the look of him there We've got a full tutorial on the teapod, so we won't go through the intricacies of that now, other than to say our PRF for our targeting laser is 1688. If we wanted to change that, then we would go list 05, and we could change it here. We can drop a GBU on an area track or a point track, but we want a point track in case that hostile is going to move. So TMS up, and we've now got a point track on the hostile. And that's us all set up and ready to go, which is nice and easy. We've got our basic CCRP bomb drop symbology here and we've done a full video on how to do this in the unguided bomb section so we're just going to get on with it in this case we can see we're 8.5 miles from target we're one minute and four seconds out from drop so we're going to unpause we're going to align ourselves regard speed and altitude above 400 knots if possible and altitude depends on the threat so you know if they've got sams then we'll be above angels 20 and so on but there's no threat here at nine seconds from drop i'll push and hold weapon release at eight to 12 seconds to impact i'll push and hold lays when i lays the l will flash here as soon as the bomb drops i want to crank left 30 to 45 degrees this is to a ensure that we do not overfly the target and b to ensure that we don't mask our laser our teapot at least at the moment is always going to be on our right chin hence why we're going to be rolling to the left to make sure that we don't block the field of view of the laser. Once the bomb impacts, then we can turn on to whatever attitude we want to do. So let's go. 23 seconds. 15 seconds. Nine seconds, push and hold weapons release. Wait for the drop. Bomb drop, left crank. Push and hold laser now. And I'm gonna zoom out a bit just for the boom boom. And we have a lovely impact. Release the laser. And that is our two GBUs soured onto the one target. That's all I wanted to show today. I hope that was useful. And see you later.